Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira automation tutorial, we are going to learn about how to create a rule so that an epic gets closed as soon as all the child issues within the epic are closed. Okay. Now there is an automatic rule or out of the box rule already available within Jira for this particular user scenario. But then there might be a need for customizing this particular rule for other issue types as well. Say for example, you want to do implement the same thing for the user stories. So understanding this rule becomes really important how it is implemented, right? So that tomorrow if there is a specific project requirement, you are able to do it perfectly fine. So let's go to the project and learn all the details that are required to build or implement this particular rule from scratch. Okay. So I'll go to the project and this is the project that we are working with. So Jira mobile app and then go to the project settings in the project settings. I'll go to the automation section and let's start creating a rule for the epic. So all the child as soon as all the child issues within the epic are closed, the epic automatically gets closed. And this is very highly used use case in order to do the or maintain your Jira hygiene so that the manual intervention mention for closing the epic or making sure the epic gets closed is not there okay so i'll click on create a rule and the first thing that we want to do is basically to add a trigger so what trigger we are going to add so issue transition right so we want to check as soon as the issue is transitioned to done okay so what we are checking here is we have we'll be adding the trigger issue transition and if i leave the from status to blank it means that the issue from any of the statuses if it is moved to the done okay or closed depending on what statuses your workflow is uh, is supporting so most probably it will be done or closed okay so you'll simply say whenever the issue is transitioned to done okay you save it and then we have a another important thing so we have explained about the three key components in the rules right but then we have another one which is fourth one which is new branch okay now the new branch or the branch rules are for or the branch condition are for the issues because in jira the issue is not in isolation right so issue will be linked together there will be issues that are linked to the epic and then there will be subtask issue linked to the stories right so if you want to do any sort of actions and conditions uh, in a separate section right so what this new branch will do is it will perform actions and conditions on items in a separate section of this rule okay so we can define the branch rule okay so branch rule is what we are going to define because we we are working with the related issues right we are working with the epic and epic is having the related issues or the linked issues within the epic okay so i'll simply say branch rule or related issues click on that and you will see that it will help us to basically first thing we have to do is select which related issue you would like to perform action against so we have to choose which issue right so the issue that we want to perform the action against is the epic okay so i'll simply from this drop down okay i'll simply say epic which is parent right so which it what it will do is it will find the parent epic of the story that triggered this rule okay so what we did is when issue transition okay then because we are using the branch rule so the issue will be checked against the epic that is linked to that it is linked to okay so when we say epic parent it will basically add that check okay and then click on save so if there is an issue that is linked to the epic which is which will most probably be the story it will be checked that which epic it is linked to and as soon as the story is transitioned to done it will do that check okay then the next thing that we have to do is to check that the condition or the status of the epic is not done right so that's the another check so we'll add a condition that the epic that we are checking the parent epic is actually not done okay so we'll check the issue field condition and we'll say status is does not equal okay is not equal to done okay does not equal to done along with that we also need to check that the other okay all other stories okay so we need to add another condition which will check that all other linked issues within this particular epic are done okay so we'll say 
all other related issue condition will add a related issue condition okay which will check that the related issues right so we'll say all the subtasks right so in this case uh, you can choose all the subtasks which will check all the subtasks okay or the stories or other issues in this epic okay so this is the one that we want to check because in the epic we'll be having the stories right so and other issue types that will be linked so all the related issues in the epic should basically match a particular condition what condition that everything else that is linked to the epic is actually closed right so we need to specify a jira query language in this case so we simply say all match specified jql okay so all other issues that are there in this parent epic so we'll simply say status okay so you can simply say type status is equal to done right so this is the jql that we have to write here and if you want to validate this query simply click on validate query and you will see that as soon as the tick is there that means the query is all good because it's it hasn't found any issues so that is why zero issues uh, displayed there okay so now this is another sort of condition so first condition is that status does not equal to done the app for the parent epic status is not done and then all other stories and other issue types that are linked to this particular epic are done okay if that's the condition then move this epic or transition this epic to done okay so if i'll save this the last part is to perform the action okay so what action action is to close this right so close this epic so we'll say transition okay not here sorry so we'll simply say transition and click on transition issue and the transition issue will say so from here we'll simply say transition to done okay and if you want to set any of the fields etc you can choose the field if you want to specific fields to be set there as well but as of now this is the only thing that we need to do in order to implement this particular rule now this rule is available out of the box okay if i'll simply save it then the rule has been saved okay so now let's go ahead and reiterate what we have tried to implement okay so what we are trying to implement is so we have an epic and epic has multiple linked sub uh, link task within that particular epic so there will be there could be stories defects etc et okay now we want to have a rule as soon as all the work items within the epic are completed then the epic should also get transition to done automatically instead of somebody looking at yes all the issues in the epic are being completed uh, then they go ahead and manually move that epic to done okay so that's the rule all about so in order to build it we are checking for the issue whenever the issue is transitioned to done okay if there is a parent epic for that particular issue okay so this is the issue that we are transitioning if it is moved to done and for the parent epic which is linked for this particular issue epic status will be checked that epic is not actually in done in that case okay it's not actually moved to done and all other linked issue types within the epic are moved to done okay so only if this is the last sort of work item or the issue in the epic that is being transitioned to done then transition the epic to done right that's what will happen right not not in the case if you don't specify this condition there what will happen is as soon as any of the link issue in the epic is moved to done okay if i say for example i remove this particular condition here and stories match or other issues match to done so what will happen is as soon as any linked user story or any linked issue of the epic is moved to done the epic will also be moved to done because here we are having the condition that status is not equal to done then transition issue is to done okay so this condition is really really important to check that all other issue types in the epic are also moved to done only if there is a issue or this is the last issue in the epic that is being moved to done then move the epic to done okay so this is briefly how the automation rule will be all about for moving the issue to done or the epic to done if all the linked issues within the epic are moved to done okay so let's quickly name this automation close i'll simply say close epic once all issues in epic are closed okay so that's the rule and i'll simply say turn it on so the rule will be enabled in this particular case right so this rule is now enabled okay 
So now let's quickly go ahead and test it. So what I'll do is I'll create a epic and then let's create some of the stories. And so I'll create an epic sample epic and I'll say create another issue so that this window is available there for me to create more issues there. And now let me create a story test story and let's link this particular story to an epic so linked issue relates to okay let's see what the issue is number rjm is seven so i'll simply say a seven okay okay let me close this and discard it and i'll go back to the backlog and we'll create the details from there okay so you'll see that it has been created we'll go back in the backlog and the epic should be there okay so if we open the epic panel here enable that so sample epic is, is there okay let me create some of the issues in this epic so we'll simply create test story and then test bug all right and then test task okay let's have a uh, three different issue types in this particular epic okay so now because the rule that we have created is already enabled okay so if you see this particular sample epic at the moment right so if we go and see the sample epic so it's in to do state right so let's open this sample epic here and now in order to test the rule we'll simply go ahead and close this particular story okay so now as soon as i have closed this particular story the rule should not get executed okay because there are other two issues in this particular epic sample epic right which are linked to this particular epic they are still in to do state okay so if i refresh this particular epic so you'll see that epic is still in to do state okay still loading let it load okay so you'll see that first one is done okay but uh, the epic is still in to do state all right let's close uh, this one as well okay and refresh the page so still the epic won't get closed because the rule is in place and rule checks that all the only if this is the last issue in the epic that is moved to closed and all other issue types in the epic are actually moved to done or closed only then go ahead and close this particular epic so now this is the test task which is the last one which is getting moved to the done okay so now if i move to done the last one okay now this if i refresh this you'll see that automatically you'll see right even without refreshing the issue has been moved to done right you don't don't even need to refresh to run that particular rule as soon as all the issues marked to done the last issue marked to done it has checked that all other issues that were linked to this particular epic were already marked to done this was the last issue then automatically the epic got, got moved to done okay so this is how you are going to test your rule and ensure that you actually understood all of the core components of the rule so that you can go ahead and customize the rule accordingly okay so we'll continue this discussion and i'll create another rule for user stories say for example how you are going to enable a rule when all the sub tasks within the user story are completed then you want to automatically move the user story to done okay or close the user story so how you are going to create that rule something on similar lines but we'll learn it in the next tutorial so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching